I'll go first. Hey. Yep, 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 yep. Thank you. I couldn't have done that without you. You people, every one of you who dropped a single red set on Impact Wrestling, you're the lifeblood of this company. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. No, we don't deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve our best. And that's what you get every time you buy a ticket to Impact Wrestling. The best wrestling on the planet, bar none. If anybody has a problem with that, they can come challenge for this. Or they can challenge for It's been a long journey, over 20 years. I've had this man by my side. We've worked our asses off, cultivating our craft, becoming better and better, we, because we wanted to be the best that we could possibly be in this business. And I think tonight, we proved it. Now we've won tag team championships around the world multiple times, but tonight is special. Now yes, I'm a record-breaking nine-time exhibition champion, but tonight is special for this man right here because this is his first ever Impact World Championship. And I just want to say, my friend, my brother, I am so proud of you. Congratulations, I love you. What up, y'all? This is your boy Ace here. And welcome to Afternoon's Delight. Let's talk about this, man. I'm telling you right, right now, man. Impact Wrestling does wrestling right, man. They really do. They really do, man. And one thing that I've really been trying to make a goal of is for the fans that haven't really watched Impact maybe since the TNA days or whatever like that. I'm trying to really like expose you to a promotion that's doing wrestling the right way. You know, uh, it might not be the biggest promotion and all this other stuff, you know, and all of that. But if you love wrestling, you will love Impact Wrestling, bar none. And what I love about Impact Wrestling, they don't really cater to fans who act spoiled as hell, bro. Um, it's a small community uh, here in Impact. Obviously, you got small crowds and stuff like that. We just get good wrestling, bro. Good wrestlers. Uh, good wrestling, bro. And I enjoy it, man. It's the best promotion every week. The best promotion. I say NXT is right there with them. Uh, at least the women's division. I think the men's division isn't really that good in NXT. But the women's division is, is something else, man. The women's division is is special. And them in the knockouts division is just, is just amazing. But, uh... First off, congratulations to Alex Shelley, man. Twenty years he been putting the, he put putting in the work, bro. Them in the Motor City Machine Guns with Chris Saban, man. Bro, that was a special moment. I loved when the tell when the broadcast, you know, signed off. They went off air to giving Alex Shelley and Chris Saban the mic, and it was a truly special moment, man. Truly special moment. Let me get into the match real quick uh, towards the end, and then I'm going to go back into my thoughts with this, man. Um, so, Macklin, and they was basically telling a story of the the exposed turnbuckle, right? So, Macklin hit a top row flying headbutt for a near fall. They fought on the floor where Shelly used the ring post to hit a sliced bread number two face plant. He rolled Macklin back into the ring. He set up for a sell shot, uh, but Macklin avoided it and hit a double arm DDT for a near fall. But Shelly got a foot on the ropes at the 1930 mark uh, of the match. They fought on the ropes where Shelly hit a top rope sliced bread for a near fall. Shelly again couldn't hit the shell shot. Macklin uh, speared him into the corner and hit a pile driver for a believable near fall. And then Macklin went uh, for a spear in the corner, but Shelly moved out of the way and Macklin hit the exposed metal. So that was pretty much all she wrote for Steve Macklin. Shelly went for the Border City stretch. 
but Macklin avoided it and uh, Shelly hit a flatliner uh, onto the exposed second turnbuckle and that was really what it was all she wrote for Macklin. He hit a super kick, then a shell shock for the pin. New champion Alex Shelly winning this match in 20 minutes, bro. What a great moment between him and Chris Sabin, who just won the X Division belt earlier tonight from Trey Miguel. Real quick, I'm on thoughts with that one. I was going to cover that one separately, but I didn't have time to do that many videos. So, that was a shocker too to me because I thought Trey Miguel would probably have that X Division title for a minute. I thought they were going to try to build Trey as maybe the greatest X Division champion of all time, but... Um, you know, they gave it to Chris Saban, man. And I now understand why they gave it to Chris Saban. And I wasn't I wasn't ever mad that they gave it to Chris Saban, by the way. I was I was really happy for Chris Saban, uh, that he got that X division. But uh even more happy for Alex Shelley getting uh dude, this guy been waiting over twenty twenty years, twenty one years, man, to get this damn title, man. Uh, two decades, man, helping other wrestlers get to their level. And he's been one of the faces of his generation too like he's been one of the faces of his generation it's just one of the things that i always say is this man when you're watching wrestling right please watch more than the wwe or AEW. please do that please do that i, I beg out for those of y'all that's watching this video please do more than just watch those promotions bro because you're missing a lot of great wrestling you're missing a lot of great wrestlers bro and when people when people uh when people really talk about certain wrestlers that you never heard of. Like, some of y'all probably never heard of Alex Shelley because he never even watched, he never even probably watched TNA. You know, uh, TNA been around all this time. He probably never even watched TNA. So he never even heard of Alex Shelley. But his, he, he embodies what TNA was, you know, in his heyday. When it, when it was first starting up, like AEW was a few years ago, like he was one of the young pillars of that company. And him and Chris Saban with the Motor City Machine Gun, that tag team, one of the greatest tag teams of all time in the pro wrestling industry. Um, you know, they 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 made their name in that tag team division, and it's good to see them get some solo gold. And you could tell how much that moment meant to them at the end, man. You could tell, you could tell how much it, it, it meant. And I know some people probably felt like Mack Lynch and lost the title, but what I do like what I do like with with stuff like this is that you want to keep you want to keep fans on their toes because I notice like when I make polls in my um on my on my in my community tab peak like the polls be so predictable sometimes because it's like you expect this person to win because they ain't had the title that long or something like that like it's just those are no rules bro usually when I say that is because I want someone to get a good run with it like right now, the only real title holder that I care about right now is either Roman Reigns or Tony Storm and AEW. Like those are the two right there that I really care about as far as having a title for for a little bit of a long time because of the story that they're building. But everybody else, I think they can lose the title tomorrow, you know, and I wouldn't care. But Macklin didn't even get it from Josh Alexander, so it wasn't even like him losing it was like a big deal. You know what I mean? He didn't beat, he didn't beat Josh Alexander for that belt. He beat, he beat Kushida, uh, Kushida at um, Rebellion. And so what they can do is they can build it back up. I will build it back up like NXT been doing with Braun Breaker. And it's been working for Braun Breaker so far. You know, maybe they're going to do the same thing in NXT with Roxanne Perez. I like little stuff like that, man. They did it with Tony Storm in, in AEW. They had her lose an interim title. It wasn't even her title in the first place. And she got it back this year. So it, it just tells you when it's worth it, you know, these guys can win the title. But that was a great story, beautiful story that they told with Alex Shelley finally getting it done. What a moment for him. I hope he has a little run. Like, it doesn't even have to be that long but i hope he at least gets like a month or two with the title um just so he can enjoy being the champion being on top but i'm sure he's going to do the job to whoever when it's time and um you know because he, he's definitely a company man he's been there two decades man and that's what i like about impact too the, the wrestlers seem very loyal to that brand um they seem very loyal they're willing to usher in the next generations and all that stuff man Great stuff, man. Great pay-per-view. 
awesome, man. Let me get y'all thoughts on this, man. Congratulations to Alex Shelley again. Congratulations to Chris Saban as well, winning the X Division title. Great, bitter moment right there. As a Impact Wrestling fan, I love seeing this pay per view. This is probably I don't like. I, I would definitely put against all odds. It's probably their best pay per view. The best pay per view I've seen this year. I had Rebellion up there because I really like Rebellion. Um, but I, I think Against All Odds might be the best pay per view of the year so far. Best, uh, no, bar none, it's the best pay per view of 2023 so far in any in any promotion. Um, I had Vengeance Day up there too from um, from uh, NXT, but I, I really think Against All Odds is 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 the best man. Good stuff, man. Go ahead and get this video like, share, and subscribe. Y'all, thank y'all for watching this one. After news to light.